when you had your stroke at the age of 13 and went home in the wheelchair, did you ever imagine that you'd be living by yourself, um, managing the things that you need to manage without really a whole lot of help? Like, was that ever the reality or? I don't think I thought of that at 13. Mm. I think it was more like, when was I going out with my mates? Yeah. And when were we going to the shopping centre to spy on guides? And just the everyday, normal 13-year-old stuff. Yep. Um, but as I got older, my brothers moved out. Yep. And then there was me. Yeah. And I remember sitting at the kitchen table when he came available. And I said to my mum, we need to start packing my bags. She thought I was joking. Mm. And I said, I'm not joking, I'm, I'm leaving. Yep. Now for my parents, that was a huge step. Would have been big. Because they had to cut the ties to a certain degree. Yep. But what I've learned to do is give my mum jobs. Yep. So she feels useful. Exactly. And I know at 42, I shouldn't be saying this, but my mum still does my washing. If that makes her happy. Exactly, and yep. it gives her a purpose to come back each week. Yep. And um, I mean, just hanging out with me should be enough of a purpose. Yep. But knowing that she's got a couple of jobs still, she still feels like I rely on her. Yep, and that's important for her. And you, you've acknowledged and recognised that, which is lovely. Yep. Yeah, but at the same time, my parents are very proud of everything I've achieved. As they should be. And done. And we knew me moving out of home, I was either going to sink or swim. Yep. And you certainly have not sunk. No, no, absolutely not. Good on you, Brooke. 